This is our 1500 PSI misting system. This video will cover the 0.15 GPM and the 0.30 GPM. What you'll get in your kit will be your, your tubing, your clamps to mount the misting system to your soffit or wherever you're going to install it. Misting tees. They came. They come with .006 nozzle already installed on it. Bag here. This has a drain valve in it, an end plug, a tube cutter, two extra nozzles, and two nozzle plugs in case you want to eliminate any misting that you don't want to come out, maybe like above your barbecue pit or where have you. There's the two nozzle plugs in there. You'll also receive filter system. This is how to put your filter together. You have an out and an in. Put your bracket just like this. This being the back. Take the big screws that come with the bracket and put all four of them into here. And when you're done, this will hang on to your, you just put it in this bracket right here. It'll hang on the pump. This end here will hook up to your water spigot. This end here will go into the inlet fitting on your filter. Before you connect this, we will show you in another video of how to bleed the air out of your system so that you don't have any air locks. Then this other little piece here comes from the outlet. You just push these in till they won't push in any farther. This other end will go to the inlet of your pump. Now, we're gonna tell you how to put your misting line together. You take and cut tubing into two or three foot sections. We recommend that you don't go over or under two to three foot. If you go under two foot, you may have too much water and instead of cooling, you'll have water on your patio. If you go more than three foot, you may not have the coverage that you want and it may not cool efficiently. But you take two to three foot sections and you simply push the tubing into the end of the misting tee, just like so, till it won't push in any farther and you're good to go. Put another piece of tubing in the other end and continue to you have enough line to go as far as you want or you run out of nozzles. Then from your last T, you will cut a piece to go from here, or actually this is your first, first nozzle. It's gonna be closest to your pump. You'll cut a piece of tubing to go from here all the way to your pump, which and it will pump, plug into the outlet connection. Now, at the end of your misting line, you will receive a plug to put into here, but we don't suggest that you put that in there yet until after we show you how to bleed all the air out of your system. Okay, we're gonna be showing you how to set up your pump on the 1500 PSI. This will be for the 0.15 gallon per minute and the 0.30 gallons per minute. Okay, from your first nozzle, which will be the one closest to the pump, we showed you earlier how to assemble this misting line, but from your first nozzle, you will run a tube from it that will run 20 30 feet however far away your pump is and it will plug in to your outlet before you do that we're going to show you how to bleed the air out of your system before you hook that up this is your feed line this end here will hook to your water spigot the other end of it will go into the inlet fitting on your filter. It says in, you push this in 
until it stops. This filter will hang over here on this side of your pump. There's a little bracket on the top rail. You have this hooked to your water spigot. You'll turn your water on, let it fill the filter housing. When you have a solid stream of water coming out, turn your water off, hook it from outlet side of the filter into the inlet side of your pump. Turn your water on, hit the toggle switch in the up position till your pump comes on and starts pumping water. We're going to pump all the air out of the pump. You got to make sure that it's plugged into your receptacle. Whenever you have a solid stream of water, turn your pump off. Hook up your misting line to here. Push it in until it won't push in any farther. Go to your last nozzle and you'll remove this end plug, which uh, you shouldn't have put in yet, but if you have, uh, you can use one of these removal tools sold at misscooling.com or you can use a crescent wrench. Just screw it, tighten it up till it's just a little bit bigger than the tubing. You push back on this ring right here and pull out on the end plug. You'll turn your pump on, bleed all the air out of your misting line. When you see solid water, no air coming out, turn your pump back off, install this end plug, and then you're ready to go. You turn your system back on. We're going to explain to you how to winterize your 1500 PSI, 0.15 gallon per minute, or your 0.30 gallon per minute. They're both the same. What you will do, turn your water off, go to your filter, unscrew the filter, dump your water out. Change your filter if it's dirty. Screw your housing back together. Make sure it's good and tight so it doesn't leak. Remove your feed line. You can use this tool that we sell at misscooling.com. It's called a release tool. Or you can use a crescent wrench just uh, make it to where it's just a little bit bigger than the tubing push towards the fitting you have to push this ring back in while pushing that in pull your tube out drain all your water out of this line you'll unhook this line from the filter housing going to your pump same same process here after removing that you can unplug your pump so it doesn't get turned back on accidentally then you can take some compressed air you can use a can or 
you can use the air compressor with something like this okay what you're going to do is unhook this line here this will be your outlet going to your misting line remove that line go to your end of your misting line remove this end plug end plug removed you will use your compressed air this tube that came out of the outlet fitting here you'll use the air spray all the water out of your misting line when you see that the water stopped coming out and there's nothing but air you have your line clean you can put your end plug back in then you'll want to come to your pump you will remove this line here at the end of this T you'll take your air spray it into here all your water inside of the pump will come out of your outlet fitting once all your water's out and it's nothing but air you're finished winterizing your pump you can push this line back in here just push it till it stops and you are winterized we're going to be showing you how to de-winterize 1500 psi misting pump this goes for the 0.15 gpm and the 0.30 gallons per minute. Start out by taking your feed line, hook this in to your water spigot. This other end will go in to your inlet fitting on your filter. Just push till it won't go in any farther. Then you'll turn your water on. When you see solid water coming out, no more air, you can turn your water off. Plug this in to your inlet fitting. Just push it in till it doesn't push any farther. You can turn your water back on. Plug your pump in to your receptacle go all the way to the end of your misting line to your last nozzle farthest away from the pump you'll remove this end plug okay before you plug in your misting line to your outlet Turn your pump on. Once you have solid water and no more air coming out, you can turn your pump off. Plug, plug your misting line into here. Push till it won't go in any farther. Watch the end of your line where you took out this in plug turn your pump on whenever you have solid water no more air turn your pump off put your end plug back in and you're ready to go turn your pump back on you're good